Today we'll be having a look at the following problem in linear algebra. We've got a 2 times 2 matrix which is 3, negative 3, 2, negative 4 and we are taking it to the power of 100 and what we'll do is find a formula for uh, taking this matrix to the power of 100. So we'll write it in simplified form. To solve this problem we can use, we can factorize this 2 times 2 matrix using some properties of eigenvectors and eigenvalues. And this helps us uh, simplify this matrix to the power of 100. So we can try to find the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues of this matrix A. To find the eigenvalues, what we can do is take the matrix A minus lambda I where I is the identity matrix and we'll end up with this matrix over here. So this is A minus lambda I. And now what we can do is solve for the determinant of a minus lambda i being zero. So determinant of this matrix will be the product of these minus the product of these and we end up with this equation over here. So 3 minus lambda times negative 4 minus lambda minus 2 times negative 3 is equal to zero. And now this can be expanded out and we get lambda squared plus lambda minus 12 plus 6 equals 0. This gives us lambda squared plus lambda minus 6 equals 0 and it factorizes as lambda plus 3 and lambda minus 2 equals 0. This gives us our two solutions which are the eigenvalues and the solutions are lambda equals minus 3 and 2. And now using the eigenvalues, we can find the eigenvectors. So when lambda is equal to minus 3, we can solve for v in the equation a minus lambda i equals 0. So now we can replace the lambda here with a minus 3. So we have 3 minus minus 3 minus negative 3 and minus 3 and 2 and minus 4 minus negative 3 for our a minus lambda i. And we get this matrix equation, so 6 minus 3, 2 minus 1 times v1, v2 is equal to 0, 0. What we can see in this matrix is the first row, which is 6 minus 3, is 3 times the second row, which is 2 minus 1. So we only have to worry about the second equation over here. And the second equation gives us 2v1 minus v2 equals 0. And yeah, the reason we only have to worry about the second equation is because the first equation is equivalent because row 1 is 3 times row 2. And this equation 2v1 minus v2 equals 0 only has one linearly independent solution. So one such solution is 1, 2, and 1, 2 will give us our eigenvector. So 1, 2 is one of the eigenvectors that corresponds to the eigenvalue of minus 3. Now when lambda is equal to 2, we can solve the equation a minus lambda i times v equals 0 again. So now from making lambda equals 2, putting lambda equals 2 here, we will get let's go back so we have 3 minus 2 minus 3 2 and minus 4 minus 2 uh, times v1 v2 gives us 0 so now we have the second equation over here and again we can observe the second row is 2 times the first row. This means we only have to worry about the top equation over here which is the same as v1 minus 3 v2 equals 0 and this again it only has one linearly independent solution of 3 1 and 
This 3, 1 over here gives us our second eigenvector that corresponds to lambda equals 2. Okay. Now what we can do is attempt to factorize the matrix A and using the matrix of the two eigenvectors. So if we look at the two eigenvectors, 1, 2, and 3, 1, we can put them together in a matrix. So we have 1, 3, 2, 1 over here. And also we can make the matrix D, which is the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues. So the eigenvalues were minus 3 and minus 3 and 2. So we can put these on the diagonals like this. Okay. Now if you have a look at the matrix AP, a nice property using eigenvectors and eigenvalues is the following. If we do the product of A times P, we get the matrix minus 3, 6, minus 6, 2. And it turns out this is the same as the product of PD. So it turns out the product of these two matrices and these two matrices is equal to minus 3, 6, minus 6, 2. Okay, so since AP is equal to PD, what we can try to do is find the inverse of the matrix P and multiply it by the inverse on the right hand side. So we'll get A equals PD P inverse. So this is what our goal is. So PD P inverse. So we have P over here, we have D over here, and we can use the formula for the inverse of a 2 times 2 matrix to get the formula for the inverse of P. So we'll have 1 over 1 times 1 minus 2 times 3 over here. And so this is determinant of P. And now we swap these two, which is still 1, 1, and take the negatives of the 3 and the 2. And this gives us the P inverse. Okay. Now, a nice fact about this matrix is if you take the power any power of a so a to the power of n what happens is we get p here and we have d to the power of n and p inverse so it turns out the only thing we have to take to the power of n is just the diagonal matrix d and it's very easy to take diagonal matrices to the power of n so what happens is for any integer n a to the n is equal to it's 1, 3, 2, 1 here. And now diagonal, when you take a diagonal matrix to the power of n, it's quite simple because you only have to take the individual values to the power of n. And this over here becomes minus 1 over 5. And we bring this down again. Okay. So now we can do some simplification or we can move the minus 1 over 5 over here. For this step, we can take the product of these two matrices. So this is the same as multiplying the first row by minus 3 to the n and multiplying this row by 2 to the n. And we'll end up with this matrix over here. And now we can multiply these two matrices. And by doing that multiplication, we'll end up with this matrix over here times a minus 1 over 5. So this is what the value of a to the power of n is. So this is a nice closed form formula for the value of a to the power of n in terms of n. And finally we can substitute n equals 100 and the value of a to the power of 100 will be negative 1 over 5 times minus 3 to the 100 minus 3 times 2 to the 101 minus 3 to the 101 plus 3 times 2 to the 101 2 times minus 3 to the 100 minus 2 to the 101 and 2 times minus 3 to the 101 plus 2 to the 100 and this will be our final answer for taking the matrix a to the power of 100 Okay.
So I hope you enjoyed this video about finding powers or matrices. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.